Yeah, uh, I'm very sure you must have seen this acclaimed prophetess that has been spreading every on the internet, suggesting that she made a prophecy as of the time of 2022 that, um, you know, the law was prophesying against T.D. Jakes calm down. Okay, you know, initially when I first of all saw this video, I was not very fast to react because I know by just observing that video, I could actually point some element of insincerity in everything she was saying. Okay, so at that time it got trended and a lot of people, bloggers, YouTubers, also published it as, yes, this is, this is the hard nail. Yeah, there was a prophecy that actually prophesied, there was a prophet that prophesied about the woes of TD Jakes. But it has actually been revealed that what this woman does is just only reacting to news on the internet. She sees news that gets to trend about pastor. Then she now takes it up as a prophecy and say, God is warning them that if they don't repent, no. Take for instance, as of the time when she made this prophecy of T.D. Jakes, at that time, there were allegations. As of that 2022, there were allegations against T.D. Jakes. Ladies and gentlemen, Madison Marquette. Madison, thank you for agreeing to be in on the show. I really appreciate you taking the time out to be on Truth Unveiled and to uh, uh, agree with these, uh, me asking you these tough questions. We want to allow you to be able to defend yourself and give your side of the story. So thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, have you named any other people besides uh, pastors? I uh, yes. This is where you copy the information from. That was already everywhere on the internet. So what she did, like she always do, was to just quickly jump onto the trend and say, uh, God is warning TDJ and all of that. And because this issue of TDJ start trending now, you know, she had to go and dig up the reaction she did that time and claiming that she has prophesied about that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the one that actually nailed her down was the fact when she was giving prophecies pastors in South Africa. She made mention of Shepherd Bushiri. Okay, and one thing about all her prophecies is that if you even look at her, you could discover the inaccuracy in some of her prophecies. Now, take for instance, at that time, she was prophesying about Shepherd Bushiri, and she suggested that Shepherd Bushiri was selling the blood of Jesus in the form of bottle. Meanwhile, in actual sense, I mean, there are so many things Shepha Bushiri sold, you know, there are many wrong, there are so many false practices in the ministries of Shepha Bushiri. But as at that time where she claimed that the Lord was giving her prophecy against pastors in South Africa, against Shepha Bushiri that sells um, blood of Jesus, at that time, it was proven that Shepha Bushiri never sold anything close to the blood of Jesus in the form of bottle. And more so, when she was calling, you know, giving prophecies to pastors in South Africa, Shepard Bushiri at that time had left South Africa. It's just that she didn't do a proper research, okay? She didn't do a proper research. So she was just, you know, reacting to trends. When she gets to see issues that trend about pastor, she comes up and say, this is prophecy and people are falling for that. Now, this is still just not in any way trying to defend uh, the person of T.D. Jakes, okay? If you have seen some of the videos which we did concerning him, my opinion is very clear. How I, I would react when we eventually see any hard evidence against him. But so far, every evidence we've got to see, the prophecy and all of that, is not something that is strong enough to hold water. If you ask me, the closest of all that might raise some suspicion is uh, the image, okay, is the chat that was leaked, okay? I don't know how authentic that chat is, okay? Where he sent his picture, you know, flexing his muzzle and saying, thinking about you, okay? So if you look at why would a pastor actually send that, if it were to be true, then that could actually become suspicious. I mean, for a pastor to flex his muzzle and you know, write a caption thinking about you and sending it to a younger prophet in the ministry is actually something fishy, okay? But however, I think one thing I uh, observe T.D. Jakes do, she, you know, the way he has responded, reacted to the whole situation, we've not got to see him 
pulling the part of militants, militant pastors, like we get to see in, Af- in you know, in some of our African prophets and pastors when they had when they have scandals, how they will come defending themselves and even trying to trying to demonize those who are accusing them. 